Hello, and welcome to the Getting Started video series with ServiceWorks. In this video, we're going to be covering setting up your jobs details page, where you will go to create new jobs. This is very customizable, so this video might take a little bit longer, but we want the options, or you to have the options, to set up the page the way your company would use it with the different options that you would use. So if we go in here, we'll start with job type. Oh, and just to let you know, I do have two screens open on here. Yours will not look like this side by side. So on the left hand side, I do have my configurations open with the configuration settings. On this side, I have the job page open just so we can do side by side comparisons for you. So here I have the job type. You can see I have delivery and service call. Over here in the drop down, I have delivery and service call. You can add new job types of whatever types of calls or types of jobs, sorry, that your company will be taking. If I go to call type, here I have the example of warranty. If I go to type of call, warranty. Again, create as many types of calls as you need to be able to track, sort, or filter your types of businesses. Call source. Here we have the source of the call. I have newspaper ad, you know, for my example, you could put Google, neighbor, help wanted, whatever type of things that, again, you want to track or run reports on. Now the next one is we're gonna look at the reschedule type. Now this comes into play when the job is complete. I'm gonna change screens here real quick. We come down here, the job has been done, your technician is out, and you have to click the reschedule button. Here you can set what type of rescheduling is needed. Here I have customer not home, and here customer not home. Again, little bit different area of the screen, but totally customizable to your needs. Now we'll go back to the main page here. I'm going to skip product family because unless you're using inventory, you're not going to need to be setting this up. For you guys that do have inventory, I'll have another video covering product family later. Module visibility. Again, this is going to be mainly for people who have inventory. But here, if I check mark, just to show you guys, if I do show item, and show product and I click save you'll see over here if I do a refresh page now you'll see how I've added modules so here is the product and this again would be for somebody who has appliances or uh, maybe pest control where they're entering in their chemicals something like that into the product um, and then we have items and here is the items that I can add now to my list. The other options here, if you hover over the question marks, they will kind of give you a clue as to what they tune into. These are mainly for the mobile apps, so I'm not going to be showing those here. If you have or run an appliance store, you can create warranty jobs on this page. Again, that will be an advanced video and we'll get into that later. Not necessarily needed for the types of jobs we're setting up. So I'm going to uncheck these boxes and click save. I'm going to refresh my page. And you'll see now that I'm back down to just the basics that we need. Now the fun part for our custom fields I can go in and I can create custom field number one and I can hit save. Now I'll refresh this page over here and you'll see now I have custom field here. Now this can be used for anything that's needed on the job information such as maybe the square feet of carpet to be cleaned or 
how many bathrooms are expected to be cleaned, anything job related that you need to capture for your technician to see. Job status. When the job is complete, I can't really show you the drop down just yet, but here you can see the different statuses that will come into play once you create this job and save it. I'm sure you'll have an opportunity to, to see this in action in one of my future videos. The rest of these settings are coming into play under different areas. Uh, right now, I'd like to go ahead and skip to the customer section. And that will be covering this area here. So we have lead status. This is going to come into play on the customer's search feature. Here's your lead status. So if you have open, converted, qualified, again, you can also make these. So if you need to track your leads, you can customize this to your whatever needs that you have. I'm going to go back to the new job feature. I know I'm going through these a little bit fast. I do apologize. I'm trying to make this video as short for you as possible. If I come to custom fields, we have also custom fields for the customer details, but we do have different options here. So if I do Jerry's custom fields for here, I can select different options. Do I want it to be just a text box I can fill in? Do I want a drop down with different choices? Check boxes, radios. Uh, so let's, for this instance, let's do a drop down. And then what options am I going to have available in my drop down? So we're going to have leave keys at door and we'll save that. Um, leave keys on counter. Again, I'm just making these up off the top of my head. They can be whatever list you need to make. Now, if I come here and I do a refresh, you'll see that we now have a new section for additional information. And here's my drop downs. This is the customer information. This is always going to stay with your customer details. So maybe do they have pets? Do they need your technician to take their shoes off at the door? Are there gate codes or garage codes that your technician needs in order to gain access to their house? The task type we'll get into on another video, but for right now, this covers everything you need to do to create a job. And that will be our next video. Hope you stay tuned. Thank you.